evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, may I have a seat? Yes, you may have. May I have your CV? Yes, sir. Okay, so you are Navneet Kumar Jha. So Navneet, uh, can you tell me about yourself? आपने कहाँ पढ़ाई किया है? आपके बारे में family में कौन है? मुझे ये सब जानना है. So I have completed my schooling from Asian International School, and currently I am pursuing my graduation from Bhawanipur College. Okay. And uh, in my family, I have my father, mother, and my uh, elder sister. And okay. And where do you stay in Kolkata? So I stay in Vivek Vihar. You stay in Vivek Vihar. Where is where it is located? It is located uh, in uh, Fosha Road, opposite of Nexa Showroom. Okay. So since uh, this office is uh, near about half an hour to one hour distance from your location, so will that be a problem to you? No, sir. It won't be a problem for me. Okay. The convenience. There is a transport convenience I have. Okay. Uh, so tell me, uh, like, uh, have you gained some skills regarding accounts and taxation? Yes, I have done my. Uh, I have done courses from Skillshot, where I have learned accountancy, GST, tally, ERP nine, TDS, and advanced Excel. Okay. Uh, why do you want to do the job? Yes, I want to do the job because uh, from eleven since eleven twelve I have mm -hmm. learned the bookish and theoretical knowledge of commerce and accounting and bookkeeping. So this this is a this is a, this is an opportunity for me to. Put that theoretical knowledge in the practical world and learn a lot regarding this field. Okay, that's great. Uh, Navneet, uh, before starting the interview regarding the regarding your skills, can you tell me like what are your strength and weakness? Suppose if I uh, hire you, I should know your strength and weakness, right? So please tell me about your strength and weakness. So regarding the strengths, so I complete my work with full efficiency and effectiveness, and so I'm a kind person. I don't get offended easily. Okay. And so my weaknesses are so I'm poor in in networking. Poor in networking. Okay. So even if you join here, like uh, how will it improve your networking system? Like uh, how are you working to uh, remove your weakness? So working here will uh, bring myself from out of my comfort zone, where I I will get an opportunity to talk to talk, to talk with several clients. This will uh, develop my communication skill and. Slowly will slowly I will gradually uh, gradually I will uh, come over this weakness. So you mean to say you are an introvert kind of person? Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, what are your uh, interest and hobbies? Like interest or hobbies? So I, my interest is uh, since the lockdown I started me and my elder sister we have started uh, doing cake business. So I help in making her cakes and cupcakes. So this is the hobby that I have. Also, I help my father in his business. Okay, that's great. Okay, uh, Navneet, uh, let me start with the skill round. I'll be asking you few general entries and and it is impact on the balance sheet. The first gen uh, general entry will be like, what is the general entry for sales return? Sales return. So sales return account debit to debtor, or if it is paid, it is if it is paid in cash or bank. Okay, and what effect will it be happening on balance sheet? So the effect, so if I am, uh, if if there is a sales return, so the stock will be increased in my current asset side. Great. And so from in the uh, PL trading trading area trading from sales I have to remove minus the sales return. Okay, and uh, other than uh, increase of your stock. Is, will there be any other effect? And so, and so there will be decrease in debtors amount, or there will be decrease in cash or bank account. There will be decrease in uh, debtor, okay, or in cash. That's okay. Okay. Uh, tell me uh, entry for outstanding salary. Outstanding salaries. So the entry for outstanding salaries are salaries account debit to outstanding salary. May I know the reason like why uh, you have credited outstanding salary? So because it is a current liability for me, okay. so all the liabilities should, according to the modern rules, that all the liabilities should be credited. Okay. And what effect will that uh, happen in balance sheet? So outstanding liability will be uh, outstanding salaries will be shown in my current liability in my liability sides of my of my balance sheet, and uh, 
there will be in, in the in the salary side of indirect expenses in my trade in my PL PL account there will be an add of outstanding salaries. Okay. And that will be reflecting. That will be uh, changing your net profit. Yes, sir. That will be, that will uh, dec decrease my net profit. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, you have uh, experience in tally RP nine. Yes. Sir. Okay. So I'll be asking some shortcut keys. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, tell me the shortcut key for uh, going to sales register. So this in the in the gateway of tally we have to go to D for display then statement of accounts at A and mm -hmm. then S for sales register okay uh, how will you change uh, date in tally what is the shortcut key for that so F2 F2 okay what is the shortcut key for printing in tally like if you want to uh, print any voucher so alt key okay do you know like how to make a duplicate entry Yes, I do. Okay. Mm. Do you know what is BRS? Like, have you ever done in tally? Yes, I know what is BRS. What is BRS? So BRS stands for Bank Reconciliation Statement. And this means we need to fill up the gap between the between the uh, bank account which are with which we follow in our in our books of accounts and the bank statement of bank. Okay. Now let's move on to the GST part. Uh, so, what, tell me, like, what have you gained knowledge in GST? Like, in the like, how many months of course uh, was that? Two point five months. Two point five months. So, let me know, like, uh, what are the knowledge you have in GST? So, GST stands for Goods Service Tax. So, GST is an indirect tax. The customer is liable to pay the GST. Mm -hmm. And so, there are two schemes. It is rather three schemes in GST: composite scheme and regular scheme. Under regular scheme, we have a. Scheme. So what is the third scheme? You said, na? There are three. Four MP scheme under regular scheme. Okay. And so composition scheme, are the scheme in which there are lower tax rates. Mm -hmm. One percent for individual, five percent for restaurant, six percent mm -hmm. for six percent for manufacturing, and. Uh, it is opted for the persons who have who, who, who don't want regular uh, return filing of of uh, GST and payment of tax. Basically, it, it has less compliances from from the three uh, from the three. Uh, it has two returns. We need to do the payment of taxes monthly, and we need to file the return quarterly. And so, second comes the regular schemes. In the regular schemes, we we have a we can opt for we can opt the ITC. And in the composition scheme, we can't opt for ITC. In the regular scheme, we need to file two returns: GST A one and GST A three B. GST A one stands for all the sales return, all the sales which I have mm -hmm. done in my business. And so GST A two B stands for all the purchases I have done. It, it is an auto populated return. Okay. And so GST A three becomes the main in which we need to, in which we, I need to set off my ITC. And I need to pay my taxes if I if there is any liability of paying if if I, if I have the liability of paying. Okay. Uh, so can you tell me like uh, what is interstate and intrastate in GST? So intrastates are uh, there are two types of taxes in intra intrastate SGST and CGST. If I if I send my goods or if I if I sell my goods or purchase my goods within my states then these two taxes will be applicable and if I purchase or sell my goods from other than my state then IGST plays a role. Okay. Uh, do you have knowledge in TDS? Yes sir, I have yeah. knowledge in TDS. Okay. Uh, tell me what is uh, 194H? So 194H stands for Commission of Brokerage. Its threshold limit is 15,000 rupees and its rate of interest is 5%. What? Uh, 194A. So 194A stands for interest received from unsecured loans or any other or any other from from any other areas. And its uh, threshold limit is uh, for senior citizens it is 50,000 rupees and for other other citizens 40,000. And its rate is for individual and HUA 1%. Other than individual HUA. So its rate of interest is 10%.
okay and what about senior citizen what you are about to say like uh, for senior citizen what is the threshold limit 50000 50000 and for others 40000 40000 rupees is there any other uh, things that is mentioned in the section so i said can't remember it okay so do you have knowledge in excel as well yes what is v lookup and h lookup in excel so v lookup is the for formula which we need which we, which we can put to find out any value which is which is in my vertical vertical uh, row uh, in, a, in, a, in a vertical cells and so same for h lookup only the only we can find any formula presenting in my horizontal line okay and do you know what is the shortcut key for switching tabs in uh, uh, switching worksheets in excel so uh, control plus page page uh, up to switch to, to switch to right and page down to switch to left okay and how will you add a new row and new column so what is the shortcut key for that so control plus for to, to add a new row first of all i need to select the entire row by pressing control plus space bar then i need to press control plus to add a new row and to decrease it i need to press control minus okay same for adding the uh, same same for adding the column part column part i need to press shift plus space bar and control plus and control minus okay great so uh, navneet uh, if i select you what will be your expected salary so 8000 rupees 8000 rupees why do you have such lower expectation so because i think i am not yet very capable for this job so it's okay you can say your opinion so i think so i think that i will not work in a firm more than a year so i don't want to may I know the reason why will you not work for more than a year so because uh, my main purpose of working in an office is to gain knowledge mm -hmm. and uh, i'm not here for any monetary purpose purpose okay so i um, will last i have i don't have a, a very longer vision in a firm okay so even if you are working for one year then why should i hire you since okay i know you are not uh, looking for monetary so if you leave in like uh, one or two months like after the joining then it will be a loss scenario for me so how can i trust you so one thing i want to tell you that so i minimum i maximum minimum i can i will work in your firm from 8 months to 10 months below one year i will not leave you mm -hmm. And so hiring me will, will be cost effective for me because as as I have told you I don't have any monetary purpose mm -hmm. and I am and, and and I don't have any problem work working over time or mm -hmm. even in Sundays or holidays because my main purpose is, is to learn and not any monetary policy so it will be so uh, it will be very cost we can get, so cost. you mean to say that it will be cost benefit for me yes sir okay. Okay, Navneet, uh, your interview was great and your communication skills is also great. And uh, yeah, you can join from Monday. I'll be sharing you the offer letter and details and uh, everything of about the policies of the job. So yes, let's see you on Monday. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the opportunity.